Hello everybody, welcome back to part 16 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. We just beat Jabu Jabu's belly and we got ourselves another empty bottle, so... Uh, now we're in Lon Lon Ranch and we're gonna just do whatever we can here. Can't believe that I, the great In Ingo, am working on this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I have to do all the work around here. I, the hard-working Ingo, should be in charge. Not that lazy bum, Talon. Uh, if you can't tell already, uh, Talon and Inigo here are very much the uh, reference to the Mario Brothers. Uh, red and blue overalls for Talon, and uh, Inigo is kind of sporting the classic Luigi look uh, with the white overalls and a green shirt. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh... I don't think there's really much else. There's like an area in the back. Uh, yeah, that tower over there. I think I'll go ahead and go there first. And then I'll go and, uh, get a Pona song. Whoa! I don't know if that actually does damage, but it might, so... The Gorons do damage. Uh, alright, let's back walk. Almost there. I love the music here, it's fantastic. Uh, I guess those cows are just eating hay. But yeah, so uh, I guess there's just a block puzzle. I'm not really sure what the goal is. Uh, <coughs> oh, I kind of choked on my saliva there, unfortunately. That's kind of embarrassing, but whatever, that's what happened. I think we're supposed to, like... Uh, I think we like unlock a, a crawl space or something. Yeah. All right. Let me grab this block and pull it, and then we, we push this one right, and then we try to pull it here. We can't go further, okay. Hmm. Okay, I think I got an idea. Can I fit in here? Yes, I can. Okay, that's good. Push that all the way there. Oh shoot, actually I want that space to be empty, but for now... Shoot, that, that's a mistake. Actually, I guess I could just pull the block out, too. Uh, climb. Alright. Whoa! Down, alright. Grab and push. And pull. And push. There we go. Alright, and now all we gotta do is just pull this one. I don't think it matters how far, but just to be safe, I'm pulling it all the way out. There we go. So yeah, there is a crawl space. This kind of reminds me of uh, what they did with Tingle in, um, in his little thing. Although a little bit less pushing and crawling. A little less pushing in Tingle's case. And more crawling. But yeah, we, we got a piece of heart, so yeah, it was totally worth it to do that, actually. All we gotta do is just crawl back. I wonder what this area is for. I guess uh, someone must have forgot about it and just put milk there. Unless that's maybe like an area to feed chickens or something. Because there's no way cows are getting in there. I ain't no way no cows. Okay, you know what? Forget I did that. That was... Oh my god. Anyway, I think at night there's going to be uh, a Skulltula around here on the wall or something. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but uh... I, I, I want to be sure. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we spawned all the way over here. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of scan this wall. What the heck? There's like goo in here at night? 
Oh my god, I hate goo -ways. What's this? A grotto? Okay, what? Well, I never remember this being here. Oh my goodness. Okay. I actually never realized there was a grotto here. Or if I did, I must have forgotten. Yeah, I don't have time to reflect your things. Alright, I'm guessing these guys are gonna have some kind of worthless thing. Bombs? Nah. Uh, Deku seeds? No. Oh! I uh, forgot what that was, but whatever it was, I couldn't get it. I'm assuming it was probably like Deku nuts or sticks or something like that. You guys probably were able to see that though, so yeah, I mean, you guys could be the judge of whether you would need that in your own playthrough. I could have sworn that there was a Skulltula that spawned here at night. I'm gonna keep looking around, and if I don't find it, then whatever, I'll come back at during the day. Oh, well, here's something. Here's one of them. But I remember there being one on the wall, not on a tree. I think that one would, like, spawn regardless of time of day. But, yeah. Oh, I hear one. Oh, okay, there's another one over here. Oh, I missed. Okay. Can I reach it? Alright, there's a number two. Or was that three? I think that was number two. Okay, yeah, here. This is where I remember it being. Well, not exactly where I remember it being. But I remember this one being here. Alright. Oh, if I just had the text open a little bit longer, we could have avoided damage. But I'm pretty sure that's all of them... Uh, on the outside, anyway. Uh, actually, let's check the map. Okay, so there's still some out here. So, I'm gonna go ahead and look around. If anything, they're probably either inside the little horse area, or they're inside the buildings. So, that's what I'm gonna look for next. Oh, wait, here's one right here. How did I not see this one? Oh, okay, are we done now? Okay, now we're done. So, yeah, there you go. Those are all the, uh, Skulltulas of Lon Lon Ranch. So, yeah, make sure you're playing at night. Otherwise, they won't all be out. But, yeah. Anyway, I'll be right back, uh, once it's daytime. So, yeah. Alright, so now we're back here during the day. So, let's go ahead and see what's over here. We got some adult horses that will probably be very old by the time Link comes back here as an adult. Uh, believe it or not, uh, a seven-year-old horse is actually very old. If you want a, like an ideal age for a horse, maybe like, I don't know, three years maybe? I don't know. I, I'm not a horse expert, but I do know one thing is that a seven-year-old horse and a pony... Assuming like a pony is just like a little pony right now, like a little tiny horse. She's probably, like, pretty young. Maybe less than a year. I don't know. I thought she normally runs away from you. But anyway, let's talk to Malon real quick. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard that you found my dad. How did you, uh, how did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name's Epona. Isn't she cute? Oh, well, she doesn't think I'm cute. Yeah, if we go near her, she will run away from us. And even though we could ride her in Majora's Mask, we can't ride her like this. Although I think she might be a little bit bigger in Majora's Mask. I'm not actually sure. But anyway, so... Yeah, it seems like Epona's afraid of you, fairy boy. Alright, so... My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Uh. Alright, so I guess we have to take out our ocarina. Oh, cute ocarina! 
You gonna play this song with that ocarina? Okay, this is the song. Alright, uh, that did something. You learned a Pona song! So, uh, now, Epona will come to us- Oh, what the- Did Kabora Gabora like that song or something? Alright, so yeah, now Epona actually likes us. Uh, so yeah. If we stand still, she will now kind of follow us around. Although her steering radius- Her turn radius is kind of slow. Oh, Pona! She's grown fond of you, fairy boy! Did you use your text change? I guess, yeah. Who knew that a, so a horse would uh, learn to like you just because you played a song on a mu musical instrument? But yeah, so I guess that's pretty much all there is to do here in Lon Lon Ranch. Uh, nothing too big story-wise, although I guess the one thing that was important here was the, uh, the bottle that we needed to get. But uh, we managed to do well without it. But yeah, I guess now we can go on and... Uh, Go on to where we were supposed to do. Now, if we actually go to Hyrule Castle, when we get close... Well, interesting thing to know is that the gate's up already, even though it's daytime. So that's already something weird. And when we get close, the lighting's gonna change. But, uh, I'll just let you see that yourself. Alright, almost there. Ah, I lost her. You, over there, little kid. You must have seen the white horse gallop pass just now. Which way did it go? Answer me! So, you think you can protect them from me? You've got guts, kid. <laughs> you want a piece of me? Very funny. I like your attitude. Dang. He just... Just like that, we're lost. Pathetic little fool. Do you realize who you're dealing with? I am Ganondorf, and soon I will rule the world. Guess he's not gonna try to extract any more info. So, I always used to wonder if that last bit where they zoom in on Link's face is him being, like, angry at Ganondorf. Or, like, realizing that Ganondorf's, like, a bad guy, or if it's just because he realized he just saw his dream. But anyway, if we look in here, we see 
the Ocarina of Time. The titular item of this game. Oh, looks like we couldn't get it in that jump, so we're gonna have to dive down to get it. You found the Ocarina of Time. This is the royal family's hidden treasure which Zelda left behind. It glows with a mystical light. And you see that our Ocarina is instantly changed to the Ocarina of Time. Link, can you hear me? It's me, Zelda. Link, when you hold the ocarina in your hand, or this ocarina, I won't be around anymore. I wanted to wait for you, but I couldn't delay any longer. At least I could leave you with the ocarina and this melody. This song opens the door of time. You've learned the Song of Time. Now, Link, play this melody in front of the altar of the Temple of Time. You must protect the Triforce. Alright, so we're back from our Force Vision. Yeah, that scene very much reminded me of, like, Episode 7's Force Vision. So apparently Zelda stored the memory of that song, or that vision, in the Ocarina of Time, which is very strange. Um, also, it's like, we learned the Song of Time the same way, kind of, in uh, Majora's Mask. So apparently no one seems concerned that... Princess Zelda and her attendant were chased by Ganondorf. Like, this guy is like, Oh, welcome to Hyrule Castle Town. And these guys are still very much the same. I almost got kicked by that black- Okay, never mind, you guys are reacting. Look at that guy, he's so scared! What a wimp! <laughs> uh, oh, so scary, so scary. Too late um, for a very important date. Do other people react? That guy riding on the black horse must have been Ganondorf, who is renowned, ki who is renowned as the Gerudo King of Thie Thieves. Uh, what? Did you okay, I guess the girl doesn't say anything. Maybe. Oh, or maybe we can talk to her now. Yeah, we can. That scary-looking man took off here really fast. Oh, you are so handsome, just like the King of Hyrule. What about you? What do you say? Oh, you are beautiful, more beautiful- wait, what? Didn't mean to skip the other text. Uh, you are more beautiful than Princess Zelda. Well, I don't know if Zelda's supposed to- I mean, she's a little girl. I don't know if you should be calling little girls like beautiful like that. Is that Zelda on the white horse? My precious Pukpee can run faster than any other nuts around here. Okay, you're not very much reacting at all to anything that just happened. Sorry I'm wasting kind of the time, but there is one particular person I want to talk to. If we go to the back alley, uh, we'll see a dying soldier, and it's the only time we can talk to him. So I do want to talk to him. Hey, what? what's wrong with loitering around all day, huh, kid? Alright, so if we go here... Yeah, here's a soldier, so yeah, but let's talk to him. Uh, are you the boy from the forest? I... I... I finally met you. I... I... I have something to t t tell you. Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, betrayed our king. Zelda's nanny, Impa, sensed danger and escaped from the castle with our princess. I, I try to stop Ganondorf's men from chasing them, but the princess was waiting for a boy from the forest. That's you. She wanted to give something to that boy. 
If you received it from the princess, hurry to the temple of t time. And just like that, he's dead. He's not moving anymore. That's actually pretty crazy. This is like the only time we see a character in a Zelda game just die like that. Well, not the only time. I guess Maiku kind of just dies like that. Um, but yeah. And I think if we leave this area and come back, he will... Um, he won't be there anymore. Uh, somewhere near the castle. Yeah, yeah, that's the Great Fairies Fountain. Uh, let me just go back and check just to make sure that I'm not, like, lying. I know it's not that important, but this is just for my own curiosity. And, uh... Okay, never mind, he's still there. But if we come back to here after we do the Door of Time thing, then, yeah, he'll be gone, so... But yeah, uh, that's pretty crazy. Like other than like maybe Maiku and Majora's Mask, I don't really know any other characters in Zelda. Like main characters, or not main characters, but just like random NPCs that just die like that. Also, interesting thing to note is that now after this point, we can never go back to the courtyard in the castle. Uh, there will be guards permanently after like the crawl space in the little fountain area where the uh, the area where we crawl in. There will be guards there at all times, and we will not be able to, you know, go in through them, so yeah. But anyway, here we are at the Temple of Time. So, uh, okay, I might extend this episode a little bit longer, just because I want to show the whole cutscene. But once we're Adult Link, I'll for sure end it. So, yeah, sorry, this is going to be a little bit longer, but yeah. And there are three hollows and inscriptions here. Ye who hold, owns three spiritual stones, stand with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription reads. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, did that work? I didn't see the staff appear. Okay, so maybe you have to be, like, literally on here. There we go. I figured the song was pretty much just as loud from where we were standing before, but now it should work. There they are. All three of them, and they're very big. They're a little bigger than I ex expected. Hmm. So yeah, now we have, um, uh, okay. Now we have opened the door of time and the little Triforce symbol is glowing. But uh, as an unfortunate side effect, we also opened the way to the sacred realm. Link, isn't that... Alright. Is... It's the leg it's that legendary blade. Sorry, I botched that. The Master Sword. All right. Let's go ahead and pull out the Master Sword from the pedestal and uh let's see the next cutscene. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Link. Wait, no. He's a deep room. Wake up. Link, the chosen one. You 
were the chosen one. Sorry, I had to do it. All right. Nice. We're getting a nice little look in the Temple of Light. Sacred realm. Sage area. Whoa. It's the King of Hyrule from Wind Waker. I always thought he looked like him. Anyway, I'm Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance of the Sacred Realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. Interesting to note, or interesting thing to note, the Temple of Light was originally going to be like an actual temple, like dungeon kind of temple. Uh, but I guess they scrapped it very early on. So this is the only glimpse we ever get to see of it. But uh, it was rumored that the Triforce would have been in it. Or that you can get the Triforce in it. But yeah. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword. The evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time was the final key to the Sacred Realm. Oh, you know what? Temple of Light. Is that supposed to be like that building where you fight Ganondorf? Or rather, Ganon as the final boss in A Link to the Past? Because that's like at the very center of that of the Dark World. And the Dark World's like what the Sacred Realm becomes uh, once Ganon... If Ganon wins, anyway. That's where the split in the timeline comes in. But it, I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. Uh, anyway. Link. Don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Alright, we're an adult now. Wow, he's really casual about that. Look, Link, you're big now! You've grown up! The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you're old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Well, do you understand your destiny? Yeah, please do not repeat it. But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power, he became the King of Evil. His evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, in seven, and in seven short years, it transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. When the power of all the sages is awakened, the sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Raru, am one of the sages, and... Your power to fight together with the sages makes you the Hero of Time. The Hero of Time, chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you, and find the power of the other sages, and add their might to your own. Nice. We got our first medallion. Pretty cool. You received the light medallion. Raru, the sage, adds his power to yours. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Whoa, the image looks a little bit stretched. And there we are. Huh, what? Huh, we're back here. Link, we're back in the Temple of Time, but have seven years really passed? 
It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. Whoa. I've been waiting for you, hero of time. When evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages, who dwell in the five temples. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, one inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. As I see you standing there holding the mythical master sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, and I'm, I'm uh, the sage is a girl. I'm sure you know. Ugh. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you can't even enter the temple. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, Link? All right. So, cool. Let's. All right. To save the forest girl, you need another skill. Head to Kakariko Village, and uh, you'll just repeat yourself. So, because of the fact that Sheik is here, we can't ever put the Master Sword back to become a kid, which is why it was important uh, to get uh, what you call it. A Pona song earlier, so yeah, I think we have to beat the first dungeon and then we're allowed to return as a kid. And also, you can see my C buttons are set to different things. Uh, I like the ocarina always on C down, but I don't really care what's on right and left. Um, but yeah, it just does that just in case you have one of these items equipped, which I did. I think I had the slingshot and boomerang equipped, neither of which I can use. So, it just presets so that Deku Nuts, Bombs, and the Ocarina will be set to those specific buttons. So as to not, you know, mess up anything. But yeah. So, um, I know this episode kind of went on a little bit longer than others. But I figured that was like a good, important spot to end it on. But yeah, anyway, without much else to say, uh, thank you guys very much for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.